Hello, everybody. Um, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about February 19th, um, League of Legends DFS slate. It's a five game slate, um, fully loaded. Um, we have three games in China and three, uh, two games in Korea. And we have a lot of uh, close matchups, in my opinion, um, despite the odds indicate um, that some are bigger favorites than, than I think. So I think it's going to make for a very interesting slate, in my opinion. So, yeah, so we have a lot to talk about. So without any further ado, let's dive in. It's uh, LNG versus FPX. That's the first um, first uh, game of the slate. We have here LNG versus FPX. Um, I think both teams, um, each team is going in, in different directions, in my opinion. LNG has been playing pretty well with Tarzan um, leading the way and Scout, you know, uh, you know, new to LNG coming from EDG last year. Um, Scout has been one of the best mid laners in, in the LPL so far. I, I really like the synergy between Tarzan and Scout, what he what they have shown. And then in the bottom lane, LP and Haying, uh, you know, they were of a little concern coming into the split, but they held down, you know, that lane. And I think they'll do just fine against FPX. Um FPX has pretty pretty good players. I think I like Care quite a bit, but LWX has had a pretty down season. And then Hacker, as for those of you who have watched my videos before, Hacker is not somebody that I believe in. I don't think he's a very good jungler. Um, and I also looked at the metrics here. Um, these are my notes from my research. Um, I think LNG wins, um, period. <laughs> Um, you see that gold uh, spend percentage difference. It's enormous at 14%. Um, that's probably the highest I've seen so far in a matchup like this. Um, so I do agree with the odds at minus 600. I think they should be the biggest favorite on this slate. Um, all the metrics favor them. And then my eye test also tells me that LNG should win this matchup just based on the each, each individual matchups here. Um, but yeah, and this, this one actually has the highest, um, combined kills per minute metric as well. So I'm going to have a lot of LNG, but you know, and then the total kills over under was set at, is set at uh, 26 as well. So this is the highest kill po potential game. So that naturally tells me, um, even though I don't think FPX can win this series, Given the highest kill upside, CKPM, um, in this matchup, FPX makes for an intriguing GPP play because if FPX somehow pulls off an upset, they will most likely score very well. So yeah, I mean, if you are playing in the multi-entry GPP, yeah, I would definitely play um, FPX just for that fact, just for the kill upside, if you are interested in that, um, and then make make them a long stack. You know, I, I think that's probably the way to go. All right, the second matchup of the day is Anyone's Legend um, versus Team WE. I've been trying to do more of these research before I start recording the video so that it saves a lot of time for both of us <laughs> um, instead of interacting or chatting and stuff like that. Instead of me look, spending time looking up the stats and metrics, um, I think this is better. So hope you guys like that. And otherwise, yeah, if you just want to see me go through the process looking up these stats, I'm happy to do that in one video as well. So just let me know. But yeah, second matchup of the day is Anyone's Legend versus Team WE. It is crazy to me um, that Team WE has come this far and then Anyone's Legend has um, gone down this far to the point where WE is a, is a favorite at minus 350. That is insane. Over Anyone's Legend. I mean, coming into the split, I thought these... Two teams would be like mediocre, if not like in the bottom third of the LPL. But um, it looks like Team WE has been in better form than anyone's legend, to say the least. So I think that's what the odds are 
kind of indicating, but I actually kind of, like I said, I, as you can tell, like I kind of disagree with the odds. Um, I think anyone's legend has a pretty good shot at winning this series. Um, you see the total kills over under for this matchup is set at 23.5. So that's pretty good. Um, that's not as good as the LNG matchup that we just talked about, but it's still pretty good. And then the combined kills per minute is set at 0.74, um, which is pretty good overall, I think. Um, and Team WE plays a little bit faster than anyone's legend. Just to note that if you are like trying to choose the secondary versus primary stacks, um, yeah, and then the other metrics you see, like jungle control percentage, lane control percentage, gold spend per day, uh, uh, gold spend percentage, earned goals per minute for the junglers. I mean, you see that Team WE has a little bit of advantage in in the in the most of those metrics, um, but at the same time, it's not it's not that great. It's not that significant to the point where they you know, deserve a minus 350 tag <laughs> in terms of odds. Um, I do think anyone's legend has a pretty good shot. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, just my eye test, you know, aside from the metrics, yeah, Team WE has been a much better team than anyone's legend. Anyone's legend, um, they looked very disjointed in most of their game so far, which is very sad because I like Xiao Hao, the jungler. And as you can tell, like Xiao Hao is not the not not the not the reason, main reason why anyone's legend is losing a lot of games. Um, it's the mid lane, it's the top lane, and Betty has been up and down as well. I mean, you see that earned gold per minute for the jungler between Hung, the W East jungler, and then Xiao Hao. Um, it's only on, only a plus seven. That's very minimal. Um, so I do think Xiao Hao has been playing pretty well um, compared to Hung. Um, so I think it's a minimal difference. And like I said, so I think it's more of a toss up, um, at least the, how, what the metrics are showing me. Um, Team WE should win. That's my match match prediction. But I do think AL, anyone's legend, is a live dog. So if you are playing in at DFS, um, yeah, I mean, I would definitely sprinkle in some anyone's legend, in my opinion, because I think the metrics are showing that this is more of a toss up than the minus 350 odds. EDG versus TES. This is the marquee matchup of the day in China. Um, both really, really good teams. Um, you saw EDG knock off other elite teams in the past, in the past couple weeks. Um, and then you see TES kind of just cruising along, you know, at the elite level. Um, but today I think top T top esports may be in trouble because I do think e I do think EDG now with I think Junjia gone um from that roster. I like that GAJ is gonna be able to focus. And he's shown that the last couple of series where he played in, he has played amazing. I think he is a turn turn turning out to be a good jungler that he used to be for EDG. Um so I think he can focus on that. And then going up against Tian, who's been struggling a little bit in this split so far, in my opinion, I think um, EDG can pull off this upset. And in my opinion, I think where top esports had an advantage of, where Cheng Tian actually is, is you know, was pretty good at laning and dominating and putting side pressure, side map pressure um, against the other teams um, for, for TES. I think that is not going to fly well against Ale. Ala or Ale for EDG in the top lane. I mean, he is more than capable of holding down against Cheng Tian, in my opinion. So I'm not too worried about that. And then Fofo has been playing really well against Rookie. I think that's a wash. I'm a little little worried about the bottom lane, Leave and Mako versus Jackie Love and Mark. I think Jackie Love is a great player, but he is prone to making a lot of mistakes. And to me, at least, uh, when I watch EDG play, Leave and Mako are more of like a cautious laners. I think they will not let Jackie, Jack, Jackie Love or Mark get fed and snowball from there, especially given that JJ has been playing really well in form, I think going up against Tian. Um, I do think JJ will be able to cover that deficiency in the bottom lane. Um, he'll be able to kind of hover over that bottom lane and help out Leave and Mako. That is my prediction, how EDG should approach this matchup, and I think they will do it. Um, just given what I've seen so far out of them in the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, I think EDG definitely can pull off this upset because I believe in JJ and Fofo to be able to carry that team, um, you know, to the best of three series, in, in my opinion. So, so like I said, I think I said EDG pulls off an upset today as a live dog. Um, but, yeah, I mean, TES, you know, 
Um, they're TES, they're top esports. I mean, they if they hit their hit their ceiling, yeah. I mean, I think they are one of the but the most the most elite teams in the LPL. I mean, when they hit the ceilings and everything on their cylinders, I think TES can definitely pull pull this off. Obviously, as a favorite. Um, so I'll definitely have a sprinkle of TES in my lineups today as well. All right. So yeah, that's one upset. And then I told you that AL is a live dog. So we'll see what happens there. I don't think I'm gonna have any FPX unless I have some extra match extra lineups that I'll, you know, have some sp I, have to, I have to spare. I don't think so, but we'll see. But like I said, given the high kill upside in that LNG matchup, maybe FPX could be a good in a good spot if they do pull off an upset and maybe LNG has a down game, which could happen, but it's a big slate, so anything I don't know if I will need to go there since it's a big slate, so we'll see because um, I'll have other options as favorites that I can choose from. Um, and then, yeah, and then in the LCK, though, it's not also just one-sided, actually. I think T1 versus Gen G is an interesting one where I do think that Gen G <laughs> will be able to pull off an upset. So I'm picking another underdog here. Uh, to be T1, um, I think T1 obviously is another, you know, is a different animal, different juggernaut in the LCK so far. Um, but Genji actually has been really good as well. Peanut has been playing as the as probably the best jungler in the LCK, even over Owner, the T1's jungler. Um, I think Genji has been really solid. Chovy, obviously, he's experienced. Thorin in the top lane, he's really good. But in the bottom lane is what I'm very, very much intrigued by, that Pays and Delight have been, have been showing some good chemistry there between them two. And then along with Peanut hovering over that bottom lane for, for each other. Um, I think Chovy and Doran are kind of on their own, in my opinion, for Gen.G, since they're so experienced and they're really good in the, in the laning phase. So I do think Pays and Delight um, benefit from that aspects of it. And Doran, yeah, I mean, just looking at the matchup, you know, just roster matchup. Yeah, I mean, Zeus or Zeus should have an advantage over Doran, but not as big as an advantage as some people might think. I think Peanut has been playing better than Owner, in my opinion, like I said. And then Chovy versus Faker, I think that's just a wash. I mean, I think Faker just experienced. He knows how to play against Chovy, and Chovy knows how to play against Peanut. I mean, uh, Faker. So I think that's more of a wash. So yeah, it, I think it's going to come down to the bottom lane where Pays and Delight, how they fare against Gumayushi and Karia. Karia probably the best support in the LCK so far. And Gumayushi, has, he says form has been coming up as well. Um, but yeah, but same for Pays and Delight. They were a little <clears throat> struggling, struggling a little bit in, at the beginning of the season. But I mean, over the last couple of weeks, they've looked really good. I think Genji has looked like probably the best team in the LCK at times. I mean, so why not? Can they pull this off, right? Like, as long as Peanut puts map pressure and plays the way that he has been, I think he has an advantage over Owner, in my opinion. As crazy as that sounds, I think Genji can pull off this, this upset. So I'm going to pick Genji at plus 180 to pull off an upset today. Um, as mentioned, T1 has looked a little shaky recently. Um, I think he was, I think that was due to some some trying out um, different experiments and they're trying out different roster construction or, or champion uh, uh, combinations and stuff like that. I mean, I think that they're just fooling around at times against some bad opponents, um, but I don't think they'll do that. I mean, I think they'll they'll be focused on that, but I think at the end of the day, I think I still think Genji pulls off this upset Um given the matchup, but also given a lot of the metrics favoring Genji here today. And the last slate, uh, last game of the slate is Sandbox versus Damwon Kia, D plus Kia. I think D plus Kia should win, but man, check check this out. Check out the total kills over under set at 19.5. Oh my goodness. You see the LNG game over kills, uh, total kills over under is 26. Versus 19.5. I mean, that is insanely low. I think that is actually, like I think I said it here, historically low kill upside. And you look at the combined kills per minute to see if it's this is actually like true and can be uh, validated. 0. 0.60. That is so low compared to every, everybody else here on the slate. Um, so, I, I mean, I think this is a completely fadable matchup. Um, just given that low kill upside. But yeah, but DK should win at the end of the day. So like if you are playing, you know, if it looking for some some team to differentiate your lineup, um, Damwon D plus Kia could be that 
And if you think Sandbox, yeah, pulls off an upset here in a low kill setting, yeah, I mean Sandbox is a team team slot to save salary, and so you can play or pay up for players from the other elite teams that have higher kill upside. I think that would be the spot to go. So. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, please, please hit the like button below. Um, subscribe to our channel. Um, I would very much appreciate that. And yeah, good luck out there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at DFS Chan. Have a good one. Good luck. Bye-bye.